the highest. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we start, I better explain these beautiful antlers here. I've got nothing to do with that, right? We just stuck them on because it looks very authentic, you know. And we realise a lot of people are squeamish, so what we have done is we've taken the legs off. Yeah. <laughs> It's normally got two short legs on this side and two long ones on that side. So as it can run around the hillsides like that. Yeah. Oh, loads of rubbish, eh? <laughs> now, on the 25th of January every year, there's suppers take place all over the world. Anybody know why? Robbie Burns' birthday. Yes, the Scottish poet or the bard as we know. I mean, here in Scotland, we eat haggis all year round, but uh, on the 25th of January, they have these suppers everywhere, and we've appeared at quite a few of them over the years. And Robert Burns wrote this address to the haggis. Now, it's very long, and you wouldn't understand a word of it, because it's uh, written in very old Scots. Uh, so I have edited, uh, edited it. I've edited it. I've cut it down a bit. <laughs> and you still won't understand it. But uh, just to give you a taste of the address to the haggis by Robert Burns. Here we go. <clears throat> Fair for your honest sonsy face, great chieftain or a pardon race, a burn them all you tack your place, paint stripe or therm, and wheel are you worthy of grace, as long as my arm. Ah, your groaning trencher there you fill, your hardies, like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend the mill in time and need, and through your pores the dews distill like amber beat. His knife, <laughs> ah, a rustic labour date, and cut you up. Oh, oh, oh. It's not alive. <laughs> <laughs> We're rustic date. I'm sorry. <laughs> Trenching your gushing entrails bright like honey ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight. Warm, reeking, and rich. Oh, lovely. It is really honest. You powers will make mankind your care and dish them out their bill of fare. All Scotland wants these stinking wear that jumps and luggies, but if you wish her grateful prayer, then gear a haggis. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd be upstanding, please, and we shall toast the haggis. Okay. The haggis. haggis. You may be seated, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs> now, we're going to have a short intermission. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody gets a taste of haggis. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking there isn't going to be enough there to go around or something. <laughs> well, don't worry, we've got tons of it in the kitchen. <laughs> Every cupboard joke with haggis comes out. <laughs> and you will enjoy it. And to prove you'll enjoy it, I'll be checking all your plates right after the intro. <laughs> Enjoy your haggis. We'll see you in part two. Thank you. Okay.